Oi, oi, mo blissy. Hey everyone, I'm going to teach you how to RNG Tornado Slanderous and Thunderous in Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. Uh, all three of them work the same exact way, so don't worry about any differences. Um, there's basically none. Um, so, in order to RNG in Gen 6, you need uh, custom firmware on your 3DS, NTR custom firmware, and lastly, you need a PokeCalc NTR Gen 6. Um, I'm not going to explain how to hack a 3DS or any of that stuff. Uh, there's written guides that get updated very frequently. I recommend 3ds.guide. It's the best website for it. Also, uh, r3ds hacks on Reddit is very good as well. So with that out of the way, the only tool you're going to need besides uh, PokeCalc NTR on your DS is the 3ds RNG tool right here. Um, so the 3ds RNG tool, you can either wirelessly update it with uh, inf plant the seed with the Gen 6 Toolkit tab, or you can type it in manually uh, once it loads. So I'm going to be doing it wirelessly, so all you do for that is boot up Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire and hold the left D-pad. And after that happens, you go to the Gen 6 Toolkit tab and you click the one-click button. So then it'll say console connected, uh, and it'll say breakpoint set, and the game will start loading up like normal. Um, and you just kind of have to mash A, uh, to the title screen. Um, the reason you want to get to the title screen and hit A it as fast as possible is it can actually mess up the frame counters for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, it'll automatically update your seed in uh, if you did the one click. Uh, once the game starts, you're going to want to pause it by hitting start and select at the same time. Now, if you did not connect it wirelessly, um, your seed is still displayed here. Uh, it says under game info, it says init seed. It's just initial seed. All you do is you type that right here. And you make sure to click the, the correct game version. Now, uh, if you want a shiny, I will be going for a shiny today. Um, all you do is you can unpause it by hitting start, then hit uh, start and right, and the party Pokemon will come up. Then after you hit start and right, hit select and left, and it'll show your trainer shiny value. And that's how you get it. And you send that away by start and right again. Alright, with that out of the way, pause with start and select again, and you'll see you're on a frame count. Now your frame count can only be odd or even uh, when you first boot it up. So, because the frames advance by two, so I'm on even frames right now. And the only way you switch that is by just saving the game. Uh, that'll switch it over to whichever one you're not currently on. So once your game's booted up, just go into the 3DS RNG tool uh, while it's paused. Click uh, Stationary RNG and then click Unova Legendary. Then I'm going to click Tornadus because that's what I'm going for, but you could do Landorus or Thunderous, they both work. Sync Nature. Now, uh, I believe this tool isn't exactly calibrated for Sync Natures right now. Um, okay, so, yeah, um, it doesn't necessarily work exactly, but you can try and go for a Synchronizer. So I am going to click Sync Nature, and I am going to click Timid, because that's what I'm doing. Although, like I said, it's not 100% known exactly how it works, so there you go with that. Um, you can leave all of this normal. Uh, perfect IVs. I'm only going to go for three because I am going for shiny only. Uh, you're not going to get many results if you're searching for five perfect stat shiny only. Uh, and then for the frame range, it should be 0 through 50,000. You could change it through 500,000 if you're willing to wait. The higher value is just how many more frames you're willing to wait. That's basically it. Uh, the consider delay, that's very important to keep checked. The 88 frames is how long the animation is before the battle. It has this, it changes for everything. All of the Hoopa Pokemon, like Taraki and Cobalion, they're all 16, but Tornadus and Landorus are both uh, 88. So just keep that in mind. There's a mobile app uh, that doesn't have that, so like if you're doing this on mobile, maybe it's a little harder. Anyway, you just hit Calculate, and it'll give you some stuff. Um, there's actually a Timid one right here, so I wouldn't even have to go for a Sync, which actually could be nice. Um, although I don't like the stats particularly well. Um, yeah, um, so that's perfect. I want to go for a timid one. That's just the nature I found. Like I said, sometimes timid doesn't work. So, or not timid, uh, sinks don't work. So then you're going to right click and hit set as target frame. Then you calculate again, just to double check. Um, now this takes, consider delay, keeping that check means this takes into account the frame advancements already. So if I uncheck this and I hit calculate, this is now 88 frames later. So you want consider delay checked. Uh, with that out of the way, um, you just know what frame you're waiting for, so I'm waiting for 15747, and as simple as that. So I just have to wait for 15747. However, uh, 
I'm on an even frame, but I want to be on an odd frame. So what I do is I unpause by hitting start, and I save my game. Now that it's saved, if I pause it again with start and select, I'm on odd frames. It's pretty cool. So uh, I'm actually going to move my synchronizer out of the first party slot because I don't need it there. And I'm just going to put my false swiper that I hope the tornado doesn't kill. From there, all you can do is just fly up into the... Oh, I just turned the XP share on. Uh, from there, I'm just going to fly in the air and uh, show you where to wait for your Pokemon. So you just fly into the storm cloud or wherever, and then you hover on yes. So you're going to hit A at the frame you want uh, here, So, and it takes 88 frames, so you're technically 88 frames early. So now I just have to wait for four minutes, and I'll meet you guys when that happens. Okay, so when you get close enough to your frame, I'm 1574, so I'm going to pause this at... One five, uh, like high seven. There we go. So I'm aiming for one five seven four seven. So I just pause it with select and start at uh, one five seven zero nine, and you just hit select to advance two frames at a time. And I'm just going to do that until I'm at the frame I want to be at. So one five seven four seven. So here we go. There I am. And now you just hold the A button. And if you hit start and right, you can see. Uh, <clears throat> the wild Pokemon's Delio. I got a shiny Tornadus with the stats that the reporter told me I get. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, and hopefully I will catch this Tornadus. I think he might know moves that can hurt my um, Shedinja, which would be really some upsetting because uh, I don't... Wait, did he just... Oh, he has Prankster. I was like, did he just agility before I could... Alright, so he's probably going to use a flying move here and it's going to kill me, which is going to be really unlucky. Yep, alright, that sucks. So he, uh, Shedinja was my false swiper. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna work my way to catching this this Pokemon, And uh, but as you can see, he's shiny, it worked. Um, I'll see you guys next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below. See you guys next video.